This is the first time we are unveiling the mainnet and as you can see the UI, the user experience looks good. Basically there are three steps to the whole process of being able to hide your data. The first is encrypt, the second is send and the third is decrypt. I'll take you with all these three steps. Let's start with encrypt. Encrypt is basically your way into the system. So as you see the UI, you click on the encrypt button, you select the asset which you want to encrypt. As you can see, I have 27 USDT. And if we go back into the main screen, you can see that I already have two USDT encrypted. So let's try encryption more. I select USDT. I say that I want five more and I encrypt, confirm, and it opens me for the transaction. The transaction is here. I, I'll just make the gas be a little aggressive so it gets quick. This is the first time we are unveiling the encryption option of the DOP mainnet. Wow, wow. The send option is there to transact between the DOP users. Not outside, not inside. We click on send. We select the asset we want to send. I can see my USDT here. I select here. I see that I want to send three USDT. The other person internal wallet address, which we copied, we paste it here and we click on send. We confirm and it will give us a transaction. It will generate first the zero knowledge proofs, which needs to be generated in order to get this transaction verified. And once these proofs are generated, oh, confirm and we just wait for the magic to happen we'll open this transaction right now as we're under audit on the ethereum blockchain we managed to get this de demo up on the polygon oh. blockchain we still see the first wallet is empty and the three usdt comes here still we'll have no record of the user or the funds being transacted so this is the internal system where we sent the three DOP to. And we can see that the DOP is here. And if I copy my wallet address and I paste it in Polygon scan, you will see that I will have no regards for these transactions, that I have the USDT in my balance. But still that USDT will be able to show here. The three USDT which I got into this protocol by another person, let's try getting these three USDT out of the system. For that, we need to decrypt. There is USDT inside my system. I own this USDT, but nobody else can see it other than me. I copy my address. I select that I want to withdraw these three USDT. I click three here. I paste my external wallet address and I paste the password which I use to create this account. And I click on decrypt, confirm, and it will generate similarly those proofs for me, which are necessary. These are zero knowledge proofs which make us happen to make these transactions without revealing the key features of the user's history, his, his address, his balances and all that. And the transaction happens. Let's see on the wallet, there is no USDT left. The USDT are gone. And you can see we have the three USDT here. And we can, this is the Polygon network, so the symbol may not be showing, but this, these are actual USDT we can see that we decrypted the three USDT, there was a little fee applied, and we got 2.997 USDT back into our external. Good job, good job. Thank you. Good job.